Hello today, and today we're going to have a game of Fire Lord on the Commodore 64, and this is a game request by Gabriel Nice on YouTube. Right, so this is a game I've never played before in my life. Um, so it's like an adventure type game. So uh, let's give it a go. Whatever, Torrid the Cursed Kingdom. Okay. Oh my goodness. So it's like a collect em up sort of puzzle game. So something like an ultimate play the game on the Spectrum. Of some description. Never owned a Spectrum, so I know what sort of, know what sort of thing it is. I mean graphically it looks nice and colourful. So it's one of these type of puzzle games I think where you gotta match get something in it goes with something else as well. We can't go through the fire. See, that's nothing. Oh, we can't go through the fire, so that's sort of like a, that blocks your um, path. What are these things? Anything? I really don't like. I mean, it's alright when it goes from one screw to another, but. When you're going up the screen, it's all, you don't look, use all the full screen. Right, to that point, then it moves. Right, I ain't going to be able to get that. Because that the flames are in the way, so I have to find maybe, I don't know, water or something. This is the first time I'm playing it. What's this? Oh, what's that? No, it was energy, wasn't it? What's that? Anything? Was that just a signpost? Oh bollocks! So avoid the fire, and I'm not going to be able to get through that. I hope I can't go through that, so I don't have to go back on myself. What's this? So I can go this way. Looks like what it looks a big game. This lots of lots of rooms or lots of areas to go to. What's that? I mean, you're pretty buggered if you don't have instructions. So this, I can. Do people say, yeah, but you can download them. Oh well, it's about playing the game. Yes, I know. You need instructions. Oh well, I haven't deal with it. Um, I mean, it looks all right. Don't. It's not a terrible game. I mean, people like these type of games. Not really my sort of thing, but I think I would have played it. At least we're seeing quite a few rooms here, or areas, I should say, rooms. I don't know if you can go inside the houses. Uh, not much in the way of sound effects, but doesn't really need to really. I'm only assuming this was based on a Spectrum game. You can tell by the sound effects. Maybe I don't know. I don't think it's a port of a. I don't think it's a direct port, but. It could be a originally a Spectrum game. It certainly moves well, it's very responsive. So basically it's just a collect them up. Oh well I can't fire anymore. I've been wasting all my shots and now I can't fire anymore. Damn it. I wonder if I can find anything. Oh, my energy's going down now. Every time you touch something, time I, oh, there's a dog. Uh, oh, ah! Don't know how many lives you get. You get a few lives in this, but I can't fire, so it's going to make it a little bit more difficult now. 
So I avoid the flames because that's instant death. Can't go in there. I think I need a. Oh, bollocks, and I'll say that. Oh! Right, I've got last list, my last life. Can I get through that? No, I don't think I am, no. Yeah. Adventure score 11%. Charms found zero. All we're going to do is leave that one there because what you're going to do is see pretty much the same gameplay. Um, really haven't got much of a clue how to play it, but you can see it's an adventure type game, so you go around collecting stuff. Um, things work with other things. It looks interesting. Uh, may have played it, but these ain't my sort of sort. They ain't my sort of games, to be honest with you. But you know what I saw there seemed okay. Anyway, I'm gonna end this now. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, and goodbye.